Have you ever wondered how all the chemical elements are made? Then join me as we are lifting all the Stardust secrets to understand the cosmic origin of the chemical elements. What is the universe actually made of? Let's look at three different times in the universe and uh, consider what it was made of them. First, after the Big Bang. So if we draw a little pie chart here, the universe was made from just hydrogen and helium and tiny little bits of lithium. Uh, we can just cut it up like this. Um, and uh, so this is hydrogen, 75% and helium 25 percent and it's pretty much adds up to 100 already but we'll, we'll just write it up here so lithium is of the order of 10 to the minus 10 which is really just a, a tiny 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 amount and um, we don't really need to worry much more about lithium now um, at, a, at a time later namely 4.6 billion years after the big bang uh, an important event happened, at least for us humans, namely the sun was born. And um, from studying the chemical composition of the sun, as I will explain uh, later, we can deduce what the universe was made of at that time. And as it turns out, uh, the universe looked a little bit different in its composition. Um, it looked something like this. Here we have hydrogen. 71.6%, 27% um, uh, helium, and then this one here, that's 1.4% of heavy elements. Um, heavy ele and so what we can see, and uh, again, we're, we're gonna go into more detail later, some of the hydrogen got converted into helium. So we have less hydrogen about five billion years after the Big Bang, a little bit more helium. And helium, through various steps, has been converted into heavier elements, a whole 1.4%. Now, if we then look at what uh, things look like today, that's 13.8 uh, billion years uh, after the Big Bang, we see that the heavy elements make up a whole uh, 2% elements and there's a little bit more helium and a little bit less hydrogen so we have a whole two percent uh, of all the the matter is in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium so as you can see the two most important elements in the universe clearly are hydrogen and helium and really who cares about all of these other heavy elements they make today two percent and in the early universe it was zero and then a little bit and um, accordingly, astronomers already quite a while ago came up with the astronomer's periodic table that uh, is pretty simple, actually so simple that I can draw it for you here. And it contains of three things, X, Y, and Z. And you can guess what X is. It's hydrogen. Hydrogen is pretty important in the universe and it sits up there in the periodic table. Helium is also pretty important, second most common element. Yes, in the top uh, right corner there. And then all the heavy elements combined, they were called metals. And they together make up Z. So uh, we can simplify the universe pretty well to just hydrogen, helium and metals. Uh, but of course we know that the devil is in the detail and we are really interested in these metals here because that is the subject of uh, this, this lecture, right? The cosmic origin of these heavy elements. And I should say here, of course, that metals is, is not, in terms of the chemistry, is not the correct description of all these elements that are found in the periodic table. But, you know, we are astronomers, so we get away with calling all the elements metals, even if in a chemical sense, they are nothing but a metal. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a little historical piece and um, people still use the term metal and we're going to use it for our stars as well. Um, before we move on to the next topic, I just want to say that 
you can see the universe changes its overall composition with time, and which means that stars formed at different times will naturally have a slightly different composition as well because stars form from gas that is available at a given place, at a given time in the universe. And the star's surface layers, they do reflect the composition of the birth gas cloud. So we are in a very lucky position that if we find stars uh, born at different times and we study their chemical composition, we can reconstruct how the composition, the makeup of the universe changed. And that's exactly what we're going to do.